I was originally a, a corporate lawyer. Um, I practiced corporate law in Hong Kong and uh, in London. Uh, but in my spare time, I got involved in a number of businesses um, which were, to be honest, a bit of fun. And um, I had rather a difficult uh, meeting with the partners of the law firm that I was uh, working for. Uh, I came into the room, there were three partners opposite me, and they said, John, we're very aware that uh, you're involved in a number of uh, businesses. Um, and whilst you're doing an okay job as a lawyer, we really think you either got to be a partner and focus on that, or you should go off and run your own businesses. So I said, well, can you give me 24 hours? And um, I left the room. I went uh, back uh, home, talked to my wife about it. I came back on the following day, and I said, well, actually, I think uh, you probably offered me the, the best escape route I could possibly have. Uh, please give me six months to sort myself out, um, and uh, I will go. Um, and it, it's interesting, isn't it? Uh, you know, many entrepreneurial journeys start with a sacking. Um, <laughs> uh, mine was no exception. Um, and uh, that was uh, how I joined uh, one of our three uh, sort of little mini ventures, which was uh, Links of London. I think, I think entrepreneurs are generally optimists. I think they, don't, they, they see the opportunity and probably don't see the, uh, uh, the, the, the issues uh, that arise. And actually, I think, um, I think uh, setting up in a recession in sort of 1990, 91 was um, a good thing. I think it, uh, it gave you a sense of value. I think whenever you're uh, setting up a business or selling a product or selling a service or whatever, value is very uh, important. It's quite easy to, to lose that sense of value. And a recession gives you that, you know, uh, is, it, is this something that is well positioned from a price uh, point of view? I think the other thing that was um, great for us was um, that when people are having a hard time, they're willing to look around. When, it, when things are going well, it's very difficult to recruit people. It's very difficult to find premises. It's very difficult to um, really make an impact. I think you grew links to, was it 46 million of Sales? Uh, to about 50. 50. Yeah. You yeah. sold it for 46. Yeah. Million. Yeah. The year after it did 50. And that was kind of 15 years after you started. Yeah. So at what point in that process did you think, right, we've got to start thinking about a sale? How far in advance of that process? What, what did you do? Um, how did you go about finding the buyers? Well, it's funny because uh, my experience is that um, if you have a business, uh, very few people. Um, uh, uh, approach you to buy the business. You'd think if you had a, a, you know, something that was going well, had a good reputation and everything else, that people might sort of knock on your door. Well, actually, it happens very rarely. Um, in fact, our, the, the people we eventually sold, them, uh, sold the business to, Folly Folly, which is a very large Greek company based on the uh, Athens stock market, um, had approached us um, some years before, I think in about 2000. And we'd had had some conversations, but uh, it didn't go anywhere. And I think it sort of, um, it, it, it made us realize that um, we, uh, you know, we, we were in the market to sell it at, at some time. But the run up to the sale, um, probably about three years in terms of, um, and that involved very much um, bringing in new people, um, bringing in a new team, making sure that that team was independent of us. Uh, so that we were not, uh, we were absolutely determined if we were to sell the business, we didn't want to go with it. We didn't want to, we were neither of us are very good at taking orders. And um, so, so we had to build a team. And, and I remember when we did the investor presentations to the various buyers, uh, Anushka and I barely spoke, which was all pre-planned. Um, but uh, it, was, uh, it was important that there was a team that could carry it on, we could sort of walk off. And how long did that whole sales process take? Uh, we kicked it off after Christmas, uh, and we, I think we, uh, uh, we signed the documents and, and received the money on the 27th of July, so it took about six and a half months. It's quite quick. Yeah, it was a well-managed uh, uh, auction process. And so that process went quickly, so they had all went through. How did you guys feel? You know, you set up in business together. 15 years of hard, hard so rather deflated, actually. That's what lots of people say. You think, yeah. wait, you know, the checks arrive and go and, yeah. um, you know. I think I bought a pair of socks, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. uh, after that, so once you kind of pick yourself up and put yeah. your new, new socks on, how yeah. long did it take to then think about getting into, into something else and setting up a, a, effectively another jewelry business with uh, Anushka? 
Yeah, we'd, um, we had the trademark, Anushka, uh, registered a long time before, and it, actually that trademark was, um, uh, uh, was owned by Links of London, but we excluded it from the sale. So although we had no immediate plans to, uh, to launch another business, I guess it must have been slightly in the back of my mind, or what if. Um, and I think uh, at the end of the day, I think if you're an entrepreneur, uh, there's nothing worse than doing nothing. Um, and you, there's a, you know, it's fine going shopping, and it's fine going traveling, and it's fine you know, redecorating your house. But, but at the end of the day, um, you're slightly defined by what you do. And I think if you, you know, being the former owner of or the founder of or whatever is, is, is not very exciting. Um, so I think the, uh, and I think the other thing, the other emotion that's there is you think you, you sort of recover from the whole thing. It's a bit like uh, uh, there's a sense of loss in a way when you sell a business and then you pick yourself up and think, well, crikey, was that a fluke? Did, were we just really lucky? I'd better do it again just to prove that it wasn't a fluke. <laughs> And, and there is that sense of that and, and saying, well, you know, let, let, you know, why not? It's fun. Let, let's do it differently. We don't want to do the same thing. We don't want to run a, a, a silver business. We want to actually, you know, at, at Anushka, um, it's all fine jewellery, diamonds, so forth, uh, 18 karat gold. But, uh, you know, our average purchase is 10 times. And, and therefore, it's a whole different segment. We didn't want to just um, do what we did before. Mm -hmm.